y'all. Today, we're gonna make some insanely good aged eggnog. When we talk about old cocktails, it's usually things like the Sazerac, which came about in the mid 19th century, about 150, 160 years ago. But we have been mixing booze with other things for eons. Nogs and flips have been around since the Middle Ages. Uh, why? Because mixing dairy and eggs and booze is delicious. So much so that this country, the United States, was basically founded on that. All the compromises and all the discussions that made this country possible were done in, in taverns with our founding fathers drunk off their ass on nogs and flips. This country was founded on eggnog. It's that fucking good. I love it. I fucking love eggnog and you should too. Today's recipe comes to us uh, from Alton Brown. I made a slight tweak. Alton Brown uh, uses three booze for eggnog instead of two like I'm using. He uses uh, Jamaican rum, cognac, and uh, uh, bourbon. Uh, I mix the cognac because I feel like it gets lost behind the bourbon and the, uh, the rum. Plus I'm kind of cheap and only having to buy two bottles is better than three. Now I know a lot of people might be concerned that eggnog has raw egg in it and eating raw egg does come with the risk of salmonella poisoning. Now keep in mind that risk is like 1 in 20,000. I've been eating raw eggs my entire life, never had any problems. But added to this, this is aged eggnog. And when you put those raw eggs with the copious amounts of booze that we're going to do tonight, um, after a day or so, salmonella is no longer a problem. This is quite safe and I encourage you to make it, but you know what, if you are uncomfortable, you can temper your egg yolks before mixing them, but um, we're not gonna do that today. I feel quite comfortable in this process. Let's make it. We're going to beat six egg yolks with a half pound of sugar and about a half teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. You wanna beat this until it turns much lighter in color and rolls off the whisk and ribbons. Now in a separate container, add one cup of heavy whipping cream, one cup half and half, and one cup of whole milk, and now the booze. We need three quarters cup Jamaican rum. I'm gonna use Apple Den Estate for two reasons. One, it's delicious and brings a little funk to the party. It's also pretty cheap at like $20 a bottle. This stuff is a bargain and I highly recommend you use it yourself. The other booze we want is bourbon. You can use whatever you have on hand, whatever bourbon you enjoy. I'm gonna go ahead and use Buffalo Trace. We want three quarters of an ounce bourbon. Slowly beat in the egg mixture and continue whisking until it all comes together. Then pour into some old liquor bottles that you have laying around. Now you're gonna put your bottles in the fridge and let them age ideally for about a week and a half to three weeks. You can age it as long as you want, but for me, the sweet spot's about a week and a half, three weeks, where you get those really great complex flavors from the aging, but it's not aging so long where the alcohol becomes the dominant flavor. But really, age it as long as you want, experiment. You know, see what works best for you. Um, and you definitely don't need to wait. And I'm not gonna wait because I need some eggnog right now to serve. Grab your favorite holiday glassware. I'm gonna use this great little crystal glass I found at Goodwill the other day for like 99 cents. Pro tip, like uh, Goodwill has some great finds on glassware uh, if you're willing to sort through all the shelves. Now we're gonna pop open our bottle, give it a pour. Do as heavy or light of a pour as you want. It's been a week. Next, and this is not optional, grated nutmeg. Don't use the pre-grated stuff. Get yourself a nutmeg and a microplaner and grade away. Personally, I like the entire top coated in nutmeg. And that is this year's eggnog. Let's give it a taste and see how we did. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is so good, so good. This is just nostalgia. It tastes like Christmas. This brings the holiday season in a way that no other beverage, or food for that matter, does for me. It's so rich and custardy, and you got the booze in there that, that isn't hiding behind, you know, all those flavors and the, and the, and the richness and the, and the dairy. It's, you get that, the, the funkiness and the, and the, the, the brown sugar molassesness of the, of the Jamaican rum 
followed by those great kind of earthy flavors of the, um, of the, of the bourbon. This comes together. This is a perfect example of something that is greater than the sum of its parts. This is a perfect cocktail, and there's a reason it has been a cocktail for so long. People have been drinking this stuff for centuries, and they're gonna be drinking it for centuries to come, and you should too. If you've never made eggnog before, you saw how simple it is, you should make it. Throw it in your fridge, and then, you know, when people come over this holiday season, you can show off your aged eggnog, and they'll love you even more after they've had a little. Uh, if you like this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button. It doesn't cost you anything, it's just one click. And what it will do is help other people find these videos. And if you do like what we're doing here, please hit subscribe, and that way you never miss a video. Um, and also, if you're out there making cocktails, it doesn't matter if you're making stuff that we made here on the channel, or your own creation, or, or whatever, tag me in social media. I'm at Real Jason Miller on threads and Facebook and Instagram and, and, and all the socials. I wanna know what you guys are up to. Tag me in what, in, tag me in what you're making, I wanna see it. And until next time, happy holidays.